Welcome to How To, a Quality Digest series for quality control, quality assurance specialists who need quick instruction on how to get something done. This episode is sponsored by Mitutoyo. And now Craig Howell of CPM Labs will show us how to measure a thread pitch using a panamic. Go ahead, Craig. Hi, this is a Mitutoyo panamicrometer. This is one of their more versatile micrometers that they offer. It has a number of different features. The, the whole basic idea was, what if you were to take a normal OD micrometer and drill out the anvil and spindle and offer maybe seven different types of interchangeable anvils and pieces and spindles and even thread pitch combinations, you'd have a micrometer that could do a number of different jobs. And that's exactly what they did with this panel micrometer. So the idea is, is that a, re a regular micrometer, the, the uh, both sides, uh, the anvil, right? And, anvil and, and spindle, spindle. Are fixed in place. I mean, you can't, what you buy is what you get. Correct. Okay, and this one just simply allows you to interchange those. It allows it's you to interchange. You can set okay. up for a number of different tools. And you'll find it's really useful. It's very handy because you can set it up as a regular OD mic, but you can set it up for a number of different things. Okay. Today, for instance, we're going to set this one up to measure thread pitch. Now this, the, the size of this is zero to one inch, and its resolution is one thousandth of an inch, and the accuracy is two ten thousandths of an inch. So any measurement you take is going to be well within one division. Now to measure thread pitch, these have a series of interchangeable anvils and spindle combinations for measuring pitch. So those these just come push out. in, okay. The first thing you have to do is zero the micrometer on these. There's a number of ways to do it. Uh, all of the different instruction manuals will mention you can close down and zero them on themselves. Now these, one side is a V and one side is an angle because thread pitch is measured halfway down the thread. You can't just close on the outside of, say, a gauge block. Now I know that, that Mitutoyo supplied us with a, with a range of uh, thread pitch um, what do you call the anvils? Anvil or? sets. A anvil sets. Yes. So you have to know uh, what you're going to be measuring first. You have to put in the appropriate anvil set, right? Right. Okay. And you can do that by, by you can just always measure the bolt or, or thread over an inch and divide it and you can find what the pitch is. So the first thing you would do would be to zero it. I'm just trying to get this to lock into each other's V. There we go. And that brings up another point, is this has a non-rotating anvil and spindle. So once you are set, it's going to hold. So as you're, as you're rotating the spindle, the, the, the... It doesn't turn. It doesn't turn, okay. Which gotcha. is great. Okay. The zero would be done by opening this lock screw and adjusting this knob. That'll move it in or out to get a perfect zero on this end. Okay. I don't prefer this method because as the anvils wear, you'll get a false zero. They will open up just slightly to where you don't get a zero. I prefer to use what what they offer is called a thread pitch standard. Mitutoy offers this. It's exactly one inch halfway down the angle and halfway down the cone. So it, it simulates a perfect one inch pitch. So rather than zero it by bringing, uh, bringing those uh, two pieces together, you would, you would put the standard in there? Correct. Okay, That's gotcha. what we're going to do in this case. Get that guy right in there. Put this one on this end. There we go. We'll bring this right down here. We're under the lights, so things are changing just slightly. But right there is the one inch. Yep. And I prefer to use a standard for this just because we know they're perfect. There's no error involved. Gotcha. So now, to show you how to get things done, let's go ahead and measure, measure a hardware screw and find what the pitch is of the thread. We'll go ahead and the V, which it's already contacting, sits over, over a thread, and it goes halfway down. It sits over two threads, actually. And then what is either a cone, or in this case is a blade, will come down. And I always like to hold it this direction, and then I'll check here. I like it this direction so I can see, am I on the right thread? I'm not cockeyed. I'm not sitting to the left or to the right, and I'm not. Then over here, I like to make sure I'm at the, the largest possible diameter for this. And you have to have a very light touch. And there we have the measurement, 205 and about 3 tenths. So it's about 0.2053. Okay. That's how you would measure pitch on this. 
Much easier than using, uh, what's the other method, like thread? Uh, what, uh, they th have thread, thread microwaves. Wires. Oh, okay. thread wires over. <laughs> that is difficult using an OD mic. You could do that, but that's, that's old difficult. old school. Correct. <laughs> um, now, I understand that, that this also comes with various, uh, other various types of, uh, of anvil uh, and spindle combinations, right? Yes, it does, and, and that's very useful. Can we go back to that photograph that they provided us of the different ones? And I'll give you an example of what might be useful. The Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth one, or the fourth one in, fourth one in, which are bladed, if you put that on one side and use the pointed one, which is two over, you could set up that to measure crimp height on wire crimpers. A lot of wire crimpers have specs for how tight the crimp has to be. That's the perfect combination. Micrometers are sold just with those two anvils in them. With this set, you've already got that and more. Okay. Now, what about the, the, the third one in from the left? That looks like it's uh, It's spherical. Rounded? It's spherical. Okay. Did I cover what they are? The, uh, the flat one on the left is a disc, which is great for grooves or softer materials. It spreads out the force. The second one is just your basic flat OD micrometer set. The third one that you asked about, it's spherical, which is great for IDs, in, inside diameters, because you want tangents. You don't want anything squared off. You want to touch it in one place. Fourth one's a blade, fifth one's a knife edge, sixth ones are points, and the seventh one are also round OD, but they're much thinner in diameter. Um, and when you change the anvils, do you need to recalibrate or re-zero the, the, uh, the micrometer? You do need to re-zero, and that's where on the micrometer itself, you have the locking lever, and you, you, if you look in close, you can see as I'm turning it, it moves it in or out. So you would, you would zero it with the combination you have in use, because they are all different lengths. Okay. So that becomes a very versatile tool you could use for a number of applications. Okay, now you, we, we've, we looked at one, obviously one application we were talking about, uh, it was how to measure uh, a thread, thread pitch. Thread pitch. Uh, you mentioned n another one which was... Um, wire crimpers. Uh, wire crimpers. Uh, what's maybe another practical use for, for an anvil com uh, combination? You could use it for measuring uh, inside diameter to a flat surface. That's always a problem with anything with a blade, you're going to have sort of, not exactly a knife edge, you're going to have some error because it's round and they are basically squared off. Where when you're using round, you're hitting tangent to tangent and you've zeroed it on the micrometer so you know you're set. Okay, all right, well thanks Craig and thanks to all of you for joining us and of course thanks to Mitutoyo for sponsoring the episode and providing the Panamite to us. And we will see you all at the next How To. So long. As the world's largest provider of measurement and inspection solutions, Mitutoyo America Corporation offers a complete selection of machines, sensors, systems, and services with a line encompassing CMMs, vision, form, precision tools and instruments, and metrology data management software. Mitutoyo's nationwide network of metrology centers provides application, calibration, service, repair, and educational programs.